Social Security Administration. How can I help you? I got a voicemail to call this number back. About something about my card, my, my social number was used or something. I don't know what it was about. All right, sir. At what time did you receive the voicemail? I was uh, 220, 220 on the machine. All right, sir. Can you please verify me your first name and your last name? My first name is Mike. M I K E. Right. Last name All is right. Rochburns. R O T C H B U R N S. All right, sir. The reason you were contacted today was to inform you regarding about your social. All right. What about it? That's what I don't know. Like under your name, someone is misusing your social. So we just want to come from that. We are speaking to the right person. All right. Okay. All right, so we have all the information. Hello, can you hear me, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have all the information regarding the calls, but what we need from you to verify whether we are talking to the right person. As you understand perfectly, this is in confidential information, and we do and we do not want to disclose your personal information to someone who might be claiming to be you. All right. Right. So for. So for security purpose, I want you to verify me your social security as well as your date of birth so that I can confirm who you are, all right? Okay. My date of birth is 5-2-83. It's 5 83 am I correct, sir? Yes. All right. And your social security number? 054-94-7997. All right. So can I have your zip code number? My zip is 13865. Okay, sir. Now, I want you to grab a pen and a paper so that I can provide you some information. Okay. I got a pen and paper here, yeah. Okay, are you ready, sir? Ready for what? Yeah. Uh, all right. Write down your case ID number. That is T as in Taylor. Okay. T. X as in X-ray. X. Number nine. Nine. Number eight, eight. Number two. Two. Number one. One. And Z as in zebra. Z. Okay. Okay. Secondly, I want you to write down your arrest warrant ID. That is 0069. Arrest warrant? Did you say arrest warrant? Yes, sir. What the hell is the arrest warrant for? I'll explain you everything, but first, I want you to note down your arrest warrant ID, all right? All right. What is it? 0069. Oh, oh, six, nine, okay. Five, nine, four, one. Oh, five, nine, four, one, okay. Now, as per the Information Act of 1928, you do have the right to get the information before we block your social or issue the arrest warrant on your name for the fraudulent activities on your social. Let me inform you that this is a federal recorded line and a three-way of conference between you, the Department of Homeland Security, and us. So whatever you speak or commit must be truth and honest. Since this is an ongoing investigation and, and the case has not been concluded, we can only provide you with limited information, only the summary and not the whole details. So I want you to listen to me very carefully and make sure that you do not interrupt me between while I'm giving you the information, all right? Yeah. Now, based on trial of evidence, we have got two serious allegation charges against your social, which are which are as follows: number one, money laundering; number two, tra drug trafficking. What? Before we move on, drug drug trafficking, money laundering. What are you talking about, sir? I told you that you'll be given a. Fi huh? Hello, can you hear me, sir? Yeah, yeah, but I don't understand what's going on with money laundering and drug trafficking. You got me upset. I don't know what the hell that is. What's it got to do I with told you, I, I told you oh, not boy. to interrupt me while I'm, while I'm providing, you, providing you the information, all right? Well, you're talking about warrants and everything else, and don't you think I'd be upset? All right, sir, before we move on any further, have you ever been to the state of Texas before? Of course I've been to Texas. I go there every year snark hunting. I go there every August. All right, sir. Every August I go to Texas. All right, sir. The reason why why I'm asking you is this, because we have found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas, and it contains some blood and truck residues inside it. My car After is in my driveway. My car is here. 
After investigation, we found that the car was rented on your name and personal information. There was two address linked with the title of the vehicle. The address of the roulette was read by the U.S. Marshal, but unfortunately, there was no one inside the resistance. But we have recovered 22 pounds of cocaine, which is an abuse drug and some documentation and from financial oh. institutes such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, and U.S. Bank. And these paperwork have your name on it. And thousands of thousands of illegal money has been wired from this bank account locally and internationally, which seems suspicious in the eye of law. And we are supposed to take this issue to the SBI headquarters based on the strong evidence. Our Social Security Administration has filed a case against you for drug trafficking and money laundering. I just we probably also don't found understand money laundering and drug trafficking. All right, sir. We also I'm, found 11, 11 I'm, credit cards. 11 credit cards. I got two credit cards. Issue along with 22 bank accounts, which has been un under your social. I got one bank account. What, what the hell are you talking about? All right, sir. Do, uh, do you have any knowledge no. about this? No. All right. According to Section 42, Act of 1958, Drug Enforcement Administration, the culprit is going to be taken for non believable jail terms of nine years, and the penalty should be $89,000. Since the inv investigation has just begun, we are in process of finding the culprit. Either it's you or someone else has stolen your details. It also could be stolen, sold to the third parties to misuse it. We are currently going to investigate and get to the bottom of it and within Whoa. next and within next what? 24 hmm? to 48 hours we will surely have the name of the culprit all right well get the name of the culprit what are you doing with me all right so at this moment it's hard for us to recognize whether the acid belongs to you or the culprit well does so we are so we are going to file out file out a form for asset verification under your name so we can safeguard your true belonging and freeze the remaining account and assets which has been managed by the imposter. In this regard, sir, we also checked your past records and, and we found that your banking contains chain and records and your social has no other complaints in the Shut past. Shut up, Lassie. This is, uh, this is the only reason we try to reach you before you face any legal consequences. So if you agree to help help the Department of Will U.S. Treasury in this case, Hello, can you hear me, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fucking dog's barking. Shut up. All right, go ahead. All right, sir. In this regard, we also checked your past records, and we have found that your banking contains children records, and your social have no other complaints in the past. This is the only reason we try to reach you before you face any legal consequences. So if you agree to help the Department of U.S. Tre Treasury in this case, then only we can put your case and warrant on hold. Okay, and well, we, we have to find move. a real... Okay, what? sir, can you please verify me your first name and uh, first name and your know. last name? Mike. Okay, can you please, M-I-K, am I correct? M-I-K-E, -E. Mike, Mike. And your last name, sir? Rochburns, R-O-T-C-H-B-U-R-N-S, Mike Rochburns. Uh, so can you please spell it out, your last name slowly and clearly so that I can note it down? R O T C H. B U R N S, Mike Rochburns. All right, sir. Would you please hold on for a second? Let me transfer your call to my senior authorities. All right. What's he gonna do? Sorry, sir. What's what are they gonna do? I don't know what's going on here. All right, just hold on for a second. All right. Okay. 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 Thank you for your patience. Yeah. Thank you for the times and patience. Your call has been transferred to the DEA, Drug Enforcement Administration. How may I help you? I don't know. He transferred me to you. Something about money laundering and drug trafficking. I have no clue what's going on. Okay, okay. Regarding this call, did you receive any case ID number? No. Oh, yeah. TX98212. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So I'll let you know about it, what you're regarding about, and why your call has been transferred to me, okay? Okay. So, before that, I want to let you know your call has been transferred to the DEA, Drug Enforcement Administration. This is Officer Richard Parker, okay? So now, before I go through with the information, I just want to let you know the line which you are talking right now is being recorded and monitored. So in this recorded line, I want you to listen to me carefully because I don't want to do any mistake from my side, okay? 
So yeah, now, let sure. me go through the information from your me. side. I want okay. you to listen to me carefully. Could you just tell me what the hell's going on? Okay. So now we found a three allegation in their name is a drug trafficking, money laundering, and theft by deception. Now, now I'll let you know what charges. it stands for. The other guy said there was two. You said there's three. That's what your caller has been transferred to me to give you the exact information, right? Oh, okay. The other guy Listen to me carefully, that, right? Okay, all right, all right. So, drug trafficking, means, so drug trafficking means in a state of Texas, we found a package. Another package, we found a 20 pounds of cocaine and, a, and with some blood. And the package right. was linked by an address. Okay. And we found some financial paperwork which stands for money laundering. We find a five bank accounts on the your social security number and I only two got one cards. bank. I bank with one bank. Let me complete first of all what we found, right? Okay, go found ahead. Single, okay. All we right. found a five bank accounts under your social and dual credit card, which have make a thousand dollar for transaction internationally and domestically, and a huge amount of balance over there. So, that's why right now we got an official order to suspend your social security number right away, because the U.S. Marshal and the FBI they found suspicious your social security number. What? Right? Boy, oh boy, I don't understand any of this. So, I'm sorry. I don't understand what's going on. So that's what I'm giving you the information. Who would like to listen to me? I'm trying. What I'm trying to say right now that we found a five bank account on the your social security number and two credit cards. But I told you on the your social bank security account. number. So that's what the government oh. they found, okay? Okay. On the your social security number. That's what you got the official order to suspend your social security number right away. Because we found suspicious your social security number. Okay. The U.S. Marshal and the FBI, the, U, the U.S. Marshal and the FBI, they were thinking that you are the right person who done this as well right now. They got a strong not, evidence about the situation. And that I'm much not. of evidence is enough to prove you guilty inside a courthouse. So that's why right now they're going to mark a lien on your assets, including your house and all your non-bank accounts, going to be frozen. Can't do that. And whatever amount do you have in a bank account is going to be transferred to the Treasury Department and the account is going to be freezed. And they have already generated an arrest warrant on their name. So in this recorded line, I just want to ask you that, are you the right person who's done this? Done? I didn't do any of it. That means you want to say that you don't have any idea about the situation and you don't have any relation with these criminal activities. Is that correct? Of course I don't. I, I, I'm a okay. working man. I don't have nothing to do with okay. drug I believe you are. or money laundering. Oh, okay. I, I'm a snake milker over to the zoo and... I get this stuff I got to worry about. I just got home from work, milk snakes all day long, and then I got to come here, listen to this. Okay, that's what I'm talking I do believe that, okay? By checking your past record, I do believe that you are not the right person, okay? But the U.S. Marshal and the FBI, they were thinking that because they found suspicious, you also the security number. They were thinking that you are the main culprit who done this. But from my side, I do believe that you are not the right person. Okay, tell them we have that. Your okay. If I'm look, let me complete. Let tell me complete. Tell them guys. Tell them guys I didn't do it. Let me complete first of all, right? Okay, complete. Go ahead. So, that's what I'm talking about. Checking your past because I do believe that you are not the right person who done this, okay? okay. That means someone is using your identity and taking a benefit about the situation. Right. So, we have to get the main culprits who have done this so that we can take a legal action to the main culprits and we can prove you innocent inside the courthouse, right? Okay. Because now, your all the documentation, all the legal paperwork are inside the courthouse. And the judge and jury members are saying that. Lay down. That, Lay, down. Time, yes. will not get Lay down. And the judge and jury members are saying that. Till the time, the matter will not get resolved. Till the time, they will not get a main culprit. They are not able to release any kinds of documentation about this, okay? Right. So if you want to say that you are not the right person who done this. So regarding this allegation, I need to ask you some questions. You have to be very honest with me. So I can send this all the information to a judge and jury members to cancellation and arrest warrant, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah, will you so shut the fuck up? Of of sir. What? Why are this fucking Mike? dogs driving me nuts? Sir, out, oh, sir. You are talking to the recorded line, so please don't oh. use any bad words. I can't help it if the dogs fucking bark. Shut up. <laughs> Stupid thing. All right. What do you so, want me to do now? Happy. I need to ask you some questions regarding this allegation. Okay, you okay. have to be very honest with me. I will be. Go ahead. Okay, so have you ever been to the state of Texas? Yes, I told the other guy. There I go every August snark hunting. Me and my friend G-Man go. Okay. So do you use an online banking? Well, yeah, everybody does. Okay. So currently you are employed or you are unemployed? I told you. I'm a, mil a snake milker at the zoo. Of course I'm employed. Okay, 
So as I already told you, you before, from your twice security yesterday. number. Whew, so let me complete first of all, right? Okay, go ahead. I'm just telling you how I got beat so, yesterday. So, okay. uh, as I already told you before, from your total security number, you find a five bank account and two credit cards, right? I told you so I only I got, got one bank account. account. I got let one bank complete. account. Let I got one bank let account. Let me complete. I'll go ahead. Let me complete. I'm telling you, let though, me I only got one bank account. Jeez, Let me I, complete. I, I have to go through the procedure you. step by step. Okay, go. The government they found, right? So I have to prove to the government that you don't have a five bank account and two old credit cards with you. So that's what I need to access some banking information. You have to be very honest with me, okay? Okay, go ahead. So I do believe that you're using a one bank account. Is that correct? Right. And with and with and with which bank you are banking with? It's a credit union. Sir, I do believe that. Sir, I do believe that you already have a what before the officer was talking with you. And you have given a what that you have a two bank that you have a two bank account is that correct? Oh, I got I got two accounts at one bank. I got a savings account and a checking account. It, but it's a credit okay, union. No it's the same thing as a bank. And, okay, no problem. And how many credit cards that you're using? Two. And how many debit card? One, two debit card, or no, one debit card you're just using? Just one debit card. They, it's for both accounts at the same credit union okay. I go to. So now I so now I have to access some transaction information in this recorded line because from that five bank account and from the two old credit card they found a thousand dollars of transaction and a, a huge amount of balance. Okay, do you, you have to be very honest with your account? Okay, go ahead. So how much balance do you have in a checking account? Checking account two thousand probably. And how much balance do you have in a savings account? Maybe four thousand. Okay. And how much balance do you have in a credit card? Zero. And another credit card? How much balance do you have? Zero. I don't owe anything on them. I pay them off every month. Okay. So why I ask you all this information is because the line okay. lets you know, okay? Because now I have to send this all the information to the judge and jury members, right? To prove you're not an inside the courthouse, okay? So first of all, as I told you before, now there was some case and their name is a money laundering, right? right. So yeah, money laundering means I do believe that you know what is the meaning of money laundering, right? Money laundering means That's now, like when you leave money in your pocket and you put it through the washing machine. Let me complete, right? Okay, On my right. side, money laundering means if they found any balance on a bank account, if they found any uh, uh, any uh, money with you in a cash, that means they're going to freeze your account, right? They're going to freeze your account, and whatever amount that they have in a bank account is well, going to be transferred to the bank account. Freeze, freeze the criminals. Don't freeze mine. Look, that's what I'm talking right now. Let me complete what I'm trying oh, to say right complete. now, right? Well, yeah, okay. Let me complete, sir. Complete. Let me complete from my side. I will okay. give you the fair enough time to speak, right? Uh, okay. As I told you before, now there was a case under your name. It's a money laundering. So if they found any balance on a bank account, that means they're going to freeze your account. What okay. they will think that is is a black money which you have earned by the drug trafficking, okay? So that's yeah. what, first of all, what do you have to do? To prove yourself innocent inside a courthouse so that we can get the why main do, purpose to have why, done this? Why do I have to prove myself innocent? Don't you have to prove me guilty? Because, that's what I'm talking. If you don't want to prove yourself guilty inside a courthouse, then you have to cooperate with us so that we can prove you innocent inside a courthouse, right? I, because the U.S. Martin has been If you are okay, weak, if you are culprit. Go ahead. Sir, what would you like to do? Just let me know, right? Would you like to take care about the situation or not? Yeah, I want to take care of the situation. Jeez, I don't so want, I don't want my bank account freezed. I told you that. So that's what I'm helping you. To, oh, help. To, okay. I was helping you that I can stop to the U.S. Martin and the FBI to freeze your account, that I can safeguard your personal assets, whatever you have. Oh, okay, right? let's do that. Okay, free, yeah. So that's what I'm talking. Now, okay. if the U.S. Martin and the FBI, if they found any balance on a bank account, they're going to freeze your account. I don't and want whatever balance you have in your, And whatever balance you have in the bank account is going to be transferred to the Treasury Department, and your account is going to be freezed. I don't want and to you will be taken okay. to custody, and you will be taken to the custody for next 72 hours, and they will present you inside a courthouse where I you have to pay the penalty to... charges of $89,000. I got to go to work. I can't go to jail. So that's what, sir. First of all, if you like to take care about the situation, what do you have to do? You have to safeguard the personal assets, whatever you have in a bank account. Okay, what okay? I got to do? What do you have to do? What Save, I got to do? To, to safeguard your personal assets, whatever you have in a bank account, you have to put that amount in a safety card. Okay? Safety card? What do you card. have to do? I don't want to make you... Yes. Because why do you have to why do you have to put the amount in a safety card? I will let you know. Okay. Because the bank account which you're using right now it's under your social security number. Is that correct? And well, yeah. Government they already and the government they already found a five bank account under your under your social security number. So that's why right now you're all the bank accounts are in a red flag situation. And they were thinking that you are the main culprit who had done this. But I'm not. So, so to prove yourself that's what I'm talking, you are the not. So that's what to prove yourself innocent inside the courthouse, what do you have to do? 
you have to withdraw the amount whatever you have in a bank account and you have to put that amount in a safety card so that from my side I can activate that card and you, and you have to keep that card with you very safely because once I will send this all the information to the judge and jury members they're going to provide me the other showing cancellation code along with the confirmation code the same code I'm going to provide it to you in this recorded line okay and I'm going to fix the appointment with the local city of DEA who will be coming to those steps okay to collect that card you have to hand over that card whatever amount that you're going to put in a safety where's card where's my money going? if I hand him the card the where's my let, money? let me complete let me complete sir once you hand over that card oh, to the boy. officer he's going to, he's going to scan the card and once he comes to know the card was activated by us you're going to take that card with them and they're going to give you a cashier check whatever amount that they're going to put on a in a safety car. They're going to give you a cashier check when they will be coming to those steps. So I'm going, to, time you, I'm going, to, get, I'm going to get this card, then I'm going to get a cashier's check for my money. Is yeah. that right? Have I yeah. got it as right? I refund it. Yeah, as I refund it. Okay. You want, to, you want to get a cashier check. When are you going to hand over this card? They're going to give you a cashier check. That's now there is no now there is no criminal charges on their name, right? They're going to provide each and every documentation, each and every legal paperwork. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Because right now, you're all the documentation, all the legal paperwork are inside the courthouse. So we have to cancellation right. this warrant, and we have to release all the documentation so that when the officer will be coming to doorstep in the next 24 hours, right, I'm going to make a preview of conference call, you, us, and the officer who will be coming to doorstep, okay? And what's his name? Let so you know when they will be coming. What, what's the officer's name? That's what I'm talking name? about. Officer name is James O'Connor. James O'Connor, Irish boy. Okay. Yeah, and we'll be coming to doorstep to take care about the situation with you. You are not going to resolve this matter with me over my phone, okay? No. I'm just giving you the information. I'll wait for how James. To, to... Okay. Send James and we'll do what we got to do. Let me complete, sir, right? Let me oh, complete. Geez. Let me complete. Go ahead. Give the time. To... So you are not, sir, you are interrupting me. Well, I'm not following you. What here. I'm trying to say, this what is I'm trying to say you that. Give the time. Sir, I don't want you to use any bad words. Do you understand that? Any what? Don't use any bad words in this recorded life. I didn't use any bad words. What the fuck did I say? I didn't say nothing. Uh, what again? What the fuck I say? What do you mean oh, by that? You just swore too. Oh boy. Okay. I, I just can't. So that's it. If you want to take care about the situation right now, first of all, we have to cancellation this warrant so, so that I can fix the appointment. Okay, cancel the cancellation warrant. Cancellation this warrant. To cancellation this warrant, you have to prove to the government that whatever amount that you have in the bank account, you are going to put that amount in a safety card. Okay. Where do, where do I get the safety card? I don't have no safety card. Safety card. That's what I'm talking. I will let you know where you get the safety card because I don't want to make you confused. Okay. Until that time, I need to get an update by the judge and jury member that which card is able for you right now oh, okay. to convert as a safety card. Get a hold of okay. the judge and jury and see what I got to do. So that's what. Uh, is there any nearest bank by you, Credit Union Bank? My credit union? Yeah, it's only down the street. Zootopia. So what do you have to do right now? Let me let, let you know, sir. Let, let you know. What do you have to do right now? Till the time the matter will not get resolved, or till the time I'll not fix the appointment with the local city of DEA with the office of Mr. Connor, you're not yes. able to disconnect this line, okay? I you won't. have to be connected with me. You have to be connected with me so I can record each and every conversation and I can fix the appointment, right? And I can cancel each and destroy it. Okay, cancel it. Right? So that's what, first of all, till the time I'll walk on the documentation, what do you have to do? You have to move to the bank and you have to withdraw the amount, whatever you have in the checking account move and in the to saving the bank. account, okay? Yeah. So that so that I can give you the information how to safeguard the money right now, right? Because now once the line will get disconnected within the next 30 to 45 minutes, if they and if they found any balance in a bank account, they're going to freeze their account. So that's what. In this recorded line now, I'm taking care about the situation. I'm I'm resolving this matter with you. I'm the one who was handling a case. So I don't want to do any mistake from my side. You have to be connected with me, and you have to move to your bank. So I can give you the further information what you have to do. Okay. Okay, James. So that's what I'm talking. How much time are we going to take to reach your bank? couple minutes. It's only down the street. Okay, so I want you to move to your bank, carry your debit card with you, carry your credit card with you, and carry your driving license and move to the bank. Can I take my car yeah. to move to the bank? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, take your car. And while driving, don't talk with me. Once you'll be seated on a car, before you're driving, you have to let me know, okay? So I can start working on the documentation. Is that okay to you? When I'm driving the car, I have to what? I didn't hear what you said. Before. While driving, you don't have to talk with me, right? Okay. That's what, before you're driving, once you'll be seated on a car, before you're driving, you have to let me know, you have to give me an update. Now I'm going to drive towards the bank, okay? So that okay. I can let you know what you have to do, and even I can walk on the documentation. Is that clear to you? Okay. So now, we have, just, just carry a piece of paper and pen with you, carry a debit card with you, carry a credit card, driving license with you, and move towards the bank. Once you'll, before should you're I, driving, let me know. Once you're seated on a car, Should I bring all right? my shoes? Yes, of course, you can do that. Okay.
I'll bring all my shoes with me. Okay, I'm going to the car. Okay, I'm in my car. Am I supposed to tell you that? Okay, if you're in a car, now just yeah. put me in a speaker mode, okay? Okay. Because don't make sure about it. You are not going to put me in a mute or in a hole, okay? I won't because put Because I need to mute. record this and have a conversation. Okay. Right? Now put me in a speaker mode and drive towards the bank and don't go inside a bank. Once you reach your parking lot, just let me know so I can go with the further information what you have to do, okay? Okay. Okay, while driving, don't talk with me. Drive, drive I'm not safely, gonna. okay? That's what I'm talking. Drive safely towards the bank. Once you reach your parking lot, just let me know. Now you can start driving. Hello? Yes, I'm still connected. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the credit union. Okay, are, are you in the parking lot? Yeah. Okay, now listen to me carefully, okay? okay? Put off your speaker mode. What? Put off your speaker mode. It's not on speaker. I got a Bluetooth in my ear. Okay, perfect. Now, what do you have to do, okay? Now, you have to maintain the Privacy Act of 1947, okay? 1947? It yes. It means you are not able to disclose this matter with anyone else, okay? Now, why? Because if, you, if the bank people, they come to know that you are going to withdraw the amount from the bank and they're going to put that amount in a safety card, what are they going to do that? They're going to charge you the 30% of extra charges and they're going to freeze your account right away, okay? Uh -oh. Because they, for their personal reward, okay? okay? If they're going to ask you for what reason you are going to withdraw this amount, say it for your personal uses, okay? Say it for personal uses or for your emergency medical care, okay? Medical because care, Because once they okay. come to know, yeah, emergency medical care, okay? Don't disclose the matter with the bank people because they come to know they're going to freeze your account right away. Because right now, I'm the one who was handling case. I don't want you to face any kinds of problem anymore, okay? Okay. So that's what, what I'm saying is that you like that. Now go inside the bank, withdraw the amount from your savings account, from your checking account, withdraw all over the amount. Withdraw what but amount? don't close your account. What amount? I don't know what amount to withdraw. Whatever amount that you have in a bank account, in a savings account, it? in a checking account. Yeah. We do all over the amount and put that amount in a safety card and keep that card with you very safely, okay? They have the safety I will let you know what they have the to bank? do. They have a safety card No, 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 no. I will let you okay. know. I will give you the location. I will, I will give you the location where you get a safety card, okay? But all first right. of all, follow the protocols, okay? Go inside a bank, okay? We do all over the amount in a cash, not in a check, okay? We do all over the amount in a cash. I'm going to carry all the money the in bank. cash with me? <clears throat> yes, cash with you and you have to put what that amount in a safety card. I will let me. you know. I'm sorry? What if somebody rams me? No, Without don't you worry about money. it, right? Without don't you worry, money. yes. Don't, don't you worry about it, right, sir? I will be in line with you till the time the matter not gets resolved. You are going to put that amount in a safety card to save God your money. That's it. Okay. And from our side, we are only going to activate that card, right? So now go inside the bank. Inside the bank, don't All talk right, with me. I'm going to the bank. Okay? Yeah, okay, on. inside the bank, don't talk with me. Come out to the bank and let me know. And make sure about it. You are not going to put me in a mute or in a hole, okay? Okay? Yeah, I'm going, I'm going into the credit union. Yes, make sure about it. You're not going to put me in a mute or in a hole, okay? Because I need to record yeah, it in you, every I conversation. Got you, I got you, I got you. Perfect. Go inside the bank, withdraw the man, come out to the bank and let me know. Hello? Yes, I'm still connected. Okay, I got my money. How much money do you got with you? 2000 What about the savings account? I'm going to leave that there. What about the savings account? You have to reach the amount even from your savings account. Did you no. forget that? No, I didn't forget it. I want to leave it there. I need that. You gotta, you leave. No, I, no need, the amount, I need that money. The, let, the 2000 to me, I'll, to me. The 2000 I'll put in the safety locker. And then the the 4000 I'm going to leave in my savings. So I got it. No, look, look. That's what I'm talking. Now, if they find any balance on the bank account, they're going to freeze your account. You're not going to pay this amount to anybody. Let me complete. You're not going to pay this amount to anybody right now. You're only going to safeguard the money, and this money is going to be refunded to you. I'm in only the next going to safeguard two thousand. I'm only safeguarding two thousand. You want to take a chance? I'll take a chance. I'm a gambler. Okay. No problem. So, is there any nearest government certified store nearby you? What the fuck is that? What the fuck wrong with you? I don't know what kind of store you're talking about. Any convenience store. Convenience store? What the yes. hell would I want to go there for? For get to a safety car. There's a Dollar General down the street. Yeah, go over the Dollar General. And what am I going to do when I get there? This makes no go sense to the, me. Just go, in, go inside the store and go to the car section and let me know. Oh, boy. Is that clear to you? 
Yeah, yeah, I'm going, I'm going. Oh. Oh. Yes. Now the fucking car won't start. I'm sorry? The fucking car won't start. It's over the street and go by walk. Walk? Yeah, you are saying that it's over the street. I'm gonna walk. I'm walking over there. Alright, I'll walk over. Oh, wait a minute, started. Okay, I'm here. Now what do I do? Okay, as you know, the private sector of 1947, you're yeah, not able to discuss Yeah, I know that. Yeah? Don't discuss the matter with anyone else. Just no. go to the card section and let me know. Go to the card section the and let me know. Cards? What? The gift cards. So what card? Gift cards? Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm at the gift cards. Okay, if you're in the gift card section, can you see there was a Google Play card? Google Play card, yes. Each card of five hundred dollars. Can you see that? No. The biggest so one they got. The how biggest much one they got is a hundred. So can you see that there was an Amazon Amazon gift card? Nope, they don't even have them. I'm sorry. If you can see for a hundred dollars, right? Hundred dollar Google card, yeah. So take it for a two thousand dollars. How much you card you can take? Um, I believe that adds up to twenty. Twenty cards. Take the twenty cards. Go to the cashier. Pay the amount. Right. Activate the card from the cashier and come on the store and let me know. And if the cashier, they're gonna ask you for what is your new this card. Say it for personal I'm gonna use. Say, okay? I'm gonna say it's for my safety cards. Cause these no, are safety no. cards, they, right? If, so they know what they are. Let, let me complete. Let me complete. Don't they if know what they are? Let me complete, right, I'll sir? Complete. Let me complete. Will you I'm please complete? Them. That's what I'm talking. If they're going to come to know that you're using this card as a safety card, they're going to charge you the 30% of extra charges. They're going to charge you the extra money. So I don't want fuckers? you to pay any month to any third party. Sir, don't use any, any bad words. Well, right? that's I don't want bullshit. You. They charge me extra. I'm going to go up there and talk to the manager. I'm going to go up and talk to the manager. Tell him that's bullshit. Charge me extra sir, when I'm safe like my own the, fucking the, money. The, Sir, I don't want you to do any any bad words in this recorded line. I'm not using bad words. What, look, what would you like to do? I'm just trying to help you out from the situation to save God and money. You're trying to help me out of my fucking money. You're trying to help me out of my money. You dumb fuck. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? You're a fucking scammer. That's what's wrong with me. Are you sure about it? I'm positive, you fucking goofball. You work for DEA. What a dumb fuck. How do you make any fucking money? Huh? Hey, numb nuts. How, How do you make any money? Huh? How are you guys going to give? Why? Speak English, Ben Chode. Oh, sorry? I said speak English, Ben Chode. Which kind of language is this? Oh, it's your language, you foolish motherfucker. No, I'm not. I understand that, but I don't understand before what you say. Oh, you don't you don't understand Ben Colodi either, I suppose, right? Mm -hmm. Mother Chode, you don't understand either, do you? Uh huh. You're a scamming bastard. That's all there is to it. Okay. <laughs> you fucker. Social Security Administration, how can I help you? I was talking to Richard Parker, and we got disconnected. Huh? And he said I'd be in trouble if we got disconnected. All right, sir. Okay. So you were talking with Officer Richard Parker. Richard, Richard Parker. Yeah, oh. the DAA, right. and he said I'd be in trouble if I got disconnected. And I I must have went into a dead zone with my phone. Oh. Can All right. Cut did, he give, did he did he give you any information? He gave me everything. I got these cards. I was reading them numbers, and we got disconnected. He's going to think I'm trying to fool him. All right, hold on for a second. All oh, right, okay. sir, let me transfer Hurry your up. Call. Okay, yeah, I don't want to be in trouble. Thank you for holding the line, and thank you for your patience. This is Officer Jeff Robinson. How are you doing today? I was looking for Richard Parker. Richard Parker? Yeah. 
Yeah, Officer right, Richard Parker. Long. Okay, gee, you, okay. gee, I got disconnected. I'm going to be in trouble. Okay. All right, just hold the line, okay? Let me connect. Uh, okay. Thank you for the time and patience. I call I have been to the Richard Parker. How may I help you? How are you? Hello. Hello, you scamming bastard. <laughs> what are you doing, scammer?